Welcome to the mini story for Evil English Teacher. Let's get started. Evil English Teacher. There was an evil English teacher. He was a very bad teacher. Was there a nice English teacher? No, no, no. There was an evil English teacher. Was the teacher nice or was the teacher mean? Oh, the teacher was mean. The teacher was very, very mean. Was the teacher friendly or was the teacher mean? The teacher was mean. The teacher was very bad. There was an evil English teacher. Very bad. Very mean. Who was the evil English teacher? Was the evil English teacher Chris? No, 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 of course not. Chris is a great teacher. The evil English teacher wasn't Chris. Who was the evil English teacher? Dave. His name was Dave. Dave was an evil English teacher. Was Dave an English teacher or was Dave a math teacher? Of course, Dave was an evil English teacher. He was an English teacher. Was Dave nice? No, Dave wasn't nice. Dave was evil. Was Dave mean? Oh, yes, Dave was very mean. He was evil. He was bad. He came into his class. The students were sitting at their desks waiting for him. Where did he go? He went to his class. He came into his class. Did he come into his history class? No, no, not history. He didn't come into his history class. He came into his English class. Where was his English class? Where was his English class in America? No, no. His English class wasn't in America. Was his English class in South America? No, no. It wasn't in South America. Was his English class in Japan? Yes, it was. His English class was in Japan. Where was Dave teaching? In Japan. Dave was teaching in Japan. What town was Dave teaching in? Was he teaching in Tokyo? No, he wasn't. He wasn't teaching in Tokyo. Was he teaching in Osaka? No, he wasn't teaching in Osaka. Dave was teaching in Shiura. Shiura. Is Shiura big or is Shiura very, very small? 
Oh, Shiura is very, very small. What size is Shiura Town? Well, Shiura Town is very, very small. So, where was Dave? He was in Shiura, Japan. Was Dave in a very big city? No, he wasn't. He wasn't in a very big city. What was he in? A very small town. Dave was in a very small town. What was the town's name? The town's name was Shiura. Where in Japan is Shiura? Is Shiura in the north or is Shiura in the south? Shiura is in the north of Japan. Is Shiura in the north of Canada? No, it's not. It's not in the north of Canada. It's in the north of Japan. So, is Shiura cold, usually? Or is Shiura hot, usually? Shiura is usually cold. Shiura is in the north of Japan. Who was in the north of Japan? Dave. Dave was in the north of Japan. What kind of person was Dave? Dave was an evil person. Dave was an evil English teacher. He came into his class in Shiura, in the north of Japan. The students were sitting at their desks, waiting for him. Were the students sitting, or were the students standing? Oh, well, they were sitting. Where were they sitting? At their desks. They were sitting at their desks. Who was sitting at their desks? Students. The students were sitting at their desks. Why were they sitting at their desks? Well, because they were waiting for Dave. Who were they waiting for? Dave. They were waiting for Dave. Who was waiting for Dave? The students. The students were waiting for Dave. Were the students Americans? No, they weren't Americans. Were the students Indians? No, no, no. They weren't Indians. What were the students? Well, they were Japanese, of course. The students were Japanese. And what were they doing? Oh, sitting and waiting. They were sitting and waiting for Dave. Were the students evil? Very bad. Very mean. No, no, of course not. Japanese students are very nice and very friendly. So, who was evil? That's right. Dave, the English teacher, was evil. Are all English teachers evil? No, almost all English teachers are evil, but not all. Most, but not all. Dave 
said to the class, Every day we'll study English grammar. If you make a mistake, I'll hit you with a stick. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. It's terrible. What did Dave say to the class? He said, Every day we'll study English grammar. If you make a mistake, I'll hit you with a stick. What did Dave say the students would study? English. English grammar. He said they would study English grammar. Would they study English grammar or would they study English vocabulary? Well, grammar. They would study English grammar. Would they study Japanese grammar? No, not Japanese grammar. They wouldn't study Japanese grammar. They would study English grammar. Who would study English grammar? Oh, the class. The class would study English grammar. Would Dave teach English grammar? Yes, Dave would teach English grammar, and the students would study English grammar. If they made a mistake, what would happen? Oh, no. If they made a mistake, Dave would hit them with a stick. If they made a mistake, who would hit them with a stick? Dave. If they made a mistake, Dave would hit them with a stick. If they made a mistake, what would Dave do? Hit them with a stick. If they made a mistake, Dave would hit them with a stick. If they made a mistake, would Dave hit them with a rock or with a stick? Well, with a stick. If they made a mistake, Dave would hit them with a stick. Who would Dave hit? The students, right? If the students made a mistake, Dave would hit them with a stick. Would he hit them if they were correct? If they were right? No, no. He wouldn't hit them if they were correct. He wouldn't hit them if they were right. He would hit them if they made a mistake. And what would they study? English grammar. They would study English grammar. So Dave said to the class, Every day we'll study English grammar. If you make a mistake, I'll hit you with a stick. Then Dave opened his textbook. He said, Today we'll learn the past perfect progressive verb tense, as well as the future conditional. What did Dave open? His textbook. Dave opened his textbook. Who opened his textbook? Dave. Dave opened his textbook. And what did Dave open? His textbook. Dave opened his textbook. Whose textbook did Dave open? Well, 
his own textbook, right? He opened his own textbook. Did he open a student's textbook or did he open his own textbook? He opened his own textbook. Why did he open his textbook? Well, he opened his textbook to begin teaching. To begin teaching. What would the students study? Well, they would study the past perfect progressive verb tense as well as the future conditional. Would they also study the future conditional? Yes, that's right. As well as means also. As well as also. So they would also study the future conditional. As well as the future conditional. Hoy. Then Dave pointed to a girl and said, What's the past perfect progressive? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Who did Dave point at? A girl. Dave pointed at a girl. Did Dave point at a boy? Or did they point at a girl? Well, they pointed at a girl. What did Dave ask the girl? Well, he asked her, what's the past perfect progressive? Who did he ask? He asked a girl. He asked a girl, What's the past perfect progressive? Did Dave point at a boy? No, he didn't point at a boy. Dave pointed at a girl. Who pointed? Dave. Dave pointed. Who did he point at? A girl. He pointed at a girl. The girl was very nervous. She said, uh, I don't know. Was the girl happy? No. Was the girl sad? Uh, no, no. How did the girl feel? That's right. She was nervous. Was she a little nervous? No, no, no. She was very nervous. Very. The girl was very nervous. Why was the girl very nervous? Well, because she didn't know. She was nervous because she didn't know the past perfect progressive. She said, I, I don't know. As soon as she finished speaking, the evil teacher jumped across the room with a large stick and hit her on the head. The girl cried. <laughs> when did the teacher jump? Ah. When she finished speaking as soon as the girl finished speaking. Did he jump as soon as the girl cried? No, no, no. Not as soon as she cried. As soon as she finished speaking. As soon as she finished speaking, the teacher jumped. When she finished speaking, the teacher jumped. Who jumped as soon as she finished speaking? The teacher jumped 
as soon as she finished speaking. Ah, so the good teacher jumped as soon as she finished speaking. No, 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 not the good teacher. The evil teacher jumped as soon as she finished speaking. What kind of teacher was the evil teacher? English. He was an evil English teacher. The evil English teacher jumped as soon as she finished speaking. Did he jump with a rock? Nope. He didn't jump with a rock. He jumped with a large stick. And what did he do? Well, he hit the girl on the head. Where did he hit the girl? Hmm? On the head. He hit the girl on the head. Did he hit the girl on her hand? Or did he hit the girl on the head? On the head. He hit the girl on the head. What did he hit her with? He hit her with a large stick. A large stick. He hit her with a large stick on the head. The girl cried. <laughs> Who cried? The girl. Did the girl cry? Or did the teacher cry? Well, the girl cried. The teacher was smiling. He liked it. But the girl cried. <laughs> the other students were very scared. Were they afraid? Or were they happy? They were afraid. They were scared. Were they very scared? Were they a little scared? Very. They were very scared. Who was very scared? The other students, of course. The other students were very scared. Why were they scared? Well, because the teacher hit the girl on the head. So they were very scared. The teacher pointed to a boy and said, What is the future conditional? Did he point to another girl? No, he didn't point to another girl. He pointed to a boy. Who did he point to? A boy. The teacher pointed to a boy. What did the evil teacher ask? The evil teacher asked, what is the future conditional? Who did he ask? He asked a boy. The evil teacher asked a boy. He asked, what is the future conditional? What did the boy say? Actually, the boy said nothing. Did the boy speak? No, he didn't. The boy didn't speak. The boy said nothing. Did the boy say something? Or did the boy say nothing? Nothing. The boy said nothing. Who said nothing? The boy. 
The boy said nothing. The teacher said, Go ahead. Answer now. Did this teacher say, Begin? Answer? Yes, yes. The teacher said, Begin. The teacher said, Go ahead. Go ahead. Begin. Start to do something. Same, 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 same. The teacher said, Begin. Answer now. The teacher said, Go ahead. Answer now. Who said, Go ahead? The teacher said, Go ahead. Did the boy say, Go ahead? No, the boy didn't say, go ahead. The teacher said, go ahead, begin, answer now. The boy said, b -b -b but, b -b but, we, we haven't learned it yet. Had the class learned yet? No, they had not. They had not learned the future conditional yet. What had they not learned? Well, they had not learned the future conditional. Had they learned the future conditional? Ah, no, they hadn't. Hadn't. They hadn't learned the future conditional. What hadn't they learned? They hadn't learned the future conditional yet. Had the teacher taught them the future conditional? No, he hadn't. He hadn't taught them the future conditional. They hadn't learned the future conditional yet. Who hadn't learned? the future conditional yet. The students, right? The students hadn't learned it yet. The students hadn't learned it yet. So the boy said, but, 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 but we haven't learned it yet. The evil teacher said, in other words, you don't know it. Did he say, in other words? Yes, yes, of course. He said, in other words. He said, more directly. He said, in another way. You don't know it. So uh, we say, in other words, when we are going to be direct. When we will say something more directly, when we will say something very direct, we say, in other words, in other words, you don't know it. Right? The teacher is very direct, very straight very strong. When we say something again very strong, we say, in other words. So the teacher said, in other words, you don't know it. In other words, the teacher said, in other words, you don't know it. The teacher, Dave, jumped across the room and hit the boy hard on the head. The boy cried. <laughs> Did he hit the boy softly or hard on the head? Well, he hit the boy hard on the head. Did he hit the boy powerfully on the head or gently on the head? Of 
powerfully, hard. He hit the boy hard on the head. He didn't hit the boy softly. He didn't hit the boy gently. He hit the boy hard on the head. Who did he hit hard on the head? Well, the boy. He hit the boy hard on the head. What kind of boy was he? Oh, Japanese, right? <laughs> right? They're in Japan. He was a Japanese boy. He hit the Japanese boy hard on the head. After he hit the Japanese boy hard on the head, what did the boy do? Cried, right? He cried. After the teacher hit the boy on the head, the boy cried. So, he hit the boy hard on the head, and the boy cried. How did the students feel then? Oh, they were scared and miserable. Were they very, 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 very unhappy? Yes, they were miserable. The students were miserable. The students were very, very unhappy. Were they also scared? Yes, they were also scared. The students were scared and miserable. Was the teacher, Dave, miserable? Oh, no. Dave wasn't miserable. Dave was happy. Why was Dave happy? Oh, obviously. Dave was happy because... He liked to hit students. Ah. Were the students happy? No, no, no. The students were scared and miserable. Who was happy? Dave, the evil teacher. And who was miserable? The students. All the students were miserable. They hated the evil teacher. Did they hate the teacher or did they love the teacher? They hated the teacher. Who did they hate? Hmm, Dave, the teacher. And where was everybody? Well, everybody was in Japan, right? Everybody was in Japan. Dave? And the students were in Japan. Did the students hate their parents? No, they didn't hate their parents. They hated Dave. But they were lucky. Were they lucky? Yes, they were lucky. Who was lucky? The students. The students were lucky. Why were the students lucky? Ah, because one student had a cell phone. Did one student have a mobile phone? Yes, that's right. One student had a mobile phone phone. One student had a cell phone. Did she have a radio? No, 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 no. She didn't have a radio. What did she have? She had a cell phone. Did a girl have a cell phone or did a boy have a cell phone? Well, a girl, right? She. A girl had a cell phone. 
she secretly dialed the number of her friend, AJ. Whose number did she dial? Well, she dialed AJ's number. Did she dial Chris's number? No, no, no. She didn't dial Chris's number. Why not? Why didn't she dial Chris's number? Oh, because Chris was in Mexico. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, Chris was in Mexico. Where was AJ? Oh, AJ was in Japan. What town was AJ in? Shiura, of course. AJ was in Shiura. So where was AJ? In Shiura. Whose number did the girl dial? Oh, she dialed AJ's number. What was the girl's name? Ah, her name was Kaori. Kaori. Who was the student? The student was Kaori. Kaori dialed AJ's number. AJ answered the phone. Hello? So what did AJ answer? The phone. AJ answered the phone. He said, Hello? Kaori whispered. This is Kaori. Help us, AJ. Please help us. An evil English teacher is beating us. Did Kaori whisper or did Kaori yell? Kaori whispered. She didn't yell. She whispered. Did Kaori speak softly? Yes, Kaori spoke softly. Did she speak softly or loud? She spoke softly. She whispered. Who whispered? Kaori whispered. Who did Kaori whisper to? Well, she whispered to AJ. Why did Kaori whisper? Why? Oh, because she didn't want Dave to hear her. She didn't want Dave to know. Did she want Dave to hear her? No, no, no. She didn't want Dave to hear her. So, she whispered. Kaori whispered. This is Kaori. What did Kaori want? Ah, help. Kaori wanted help. Kaori wanted AJ to help her. Why did she want AJ to help her? Oh, because Dave, the English teacher, was beating them. So, did Kaori want help? Yes, Kaori wanted help. She whispered to AJ, This is Kaori. Help us, AJ. Please help us. An evil English teacher is beating us. AJ said, Don't worry. I'll be right there. <laughs> what did AJ say? He said, Don't worry. I'll be right there. Was AJ coming soon? Yes, yes, he said, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. I am coming soon. I'll be right there. 
Was AJ coming fast? Yes, he said, I'll be right there. Would AJ arrive quickly? Yes, he said, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. I'll arrive quickly. Who would be right there? AJ would be right there. Why would AJ be right there? Well, because he wanted to help Kaori. So he said, I'll be right there. I will come quickly. I will arrive quickly. I'll be right there. AJ jumped on his motorcycle and sped to the school. Did AJ speed to the school or did AJ drive slowly. Oh, he sped. AJ sped to the school. Did AJ drive fast? Yes, yes. He drove very fast. He sped to the school. Who sped to the school? AJ sped to the school. What did AJ do? sped to the school. He jumped on his motorcycle and sped to the school. What color was his motorcycle? Was it yellow? No, it wasn't yellow. It was black. AJ's motorcycle was black. Was AJ's motorcycle green or was AJ's motorcycle Black. It was black. Did AJ speed to the school on a green motorcycle? No, AJ didn't speed to the school on a green motorcycle. AJ sped to the school on a black motorcycle. Where did he speed to? He sped to the school. Did he speed to a school in Tokyo, Japan? No, 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 not Tokyo. He sped to a school in Shiura, in Shiura, Japan. He ran through the front door, down the hall, and burst into the class. Did he enter the classroom slowly? No, he didn't enter the classroom slowly. He entered the classroom very fast. He burst into the class. Who burst into the class? AJ burst into the class. Did he come into the class very fast or very slowly? Very fast. He burst, right? Burst, very fast. He burst into the class. What did he burst into? Well, he burst into the classroom. He said to the evil teacher, Stop hitting these students, you bastard! Who did AJ yell at? AJ yelled, Ah! AJ yelled at Dave. Did AJ want Dave to hit the students? No, of course not. He didn't. AJ didn't want Dave to hit the students. He said, stop hitting these students. Was AJ polite? Was AJ nice? 
No, no, no. AJ was not polite. He called him a bastard. He said, you bastard. Is bastard a nice word? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> bastard is not a nice word. Bastard is a very bad word. AJ said, stop hitting these students, you bastard. Then AJ ran across the room. He picked up a desk and hit the evil teacher with it. What did AJ hit the evil teacher with? He hit the evil teacher with a desk. Did he, he, did he hit the evil teacher with a chair? Or did he hit the evil teacher with a desk? He hit the evil teacher with a desk. Who hit Dave with a desk? AJ. AJ hit Dave with a desk. The evil teacher, Dave, fell to the floor. He was beaten. What did Dave do? Dave fell to the floor. Did Dave fall on a chair? No, he didn't fall on a chair. He fell to the floor. Did AJ fall to the floor? No, no, AJ didn't fall to the floor. AJ was standing. Dave fell to the floor. Why did Dave fall to the floor? Because he was beaten. Did AJ defeat Dave? Yes, AJ defeated Dave. AJ beat Dave. Did Dave beat AJ or did AJ beat Dave? AJ beat Dave. How? Did AJ beat Dave? By hitting him with a desk. AJ beat Dave by hitting him with a desk. Did AJ beat Dave by hitting him with a pencil? No, 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 no! AJ didn't beat Dave by hitting him with a pencil. AJ beat Dave by hitting him with a desk. Who beat Dave? AJ did. AJ looked at Kaori and said, What do you want me to do with him? What did AJ ask? He asked, what do you want me to do with him? To do with who? To do with Dave. What do you want me to do with Dave? Who did AJ look at? He looked at Kaori. Who did AJ ask? Also Kaori. AJ asked Kaori, what do you want me to do with Dave? What did Kaori say? Kaori said, it's up to you. Did Kaori decide? No, 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 no. Kaori did not decide. She said, it's up to you. Means you decide. Did she want AJ to decide? Yes, that's right. She wanted AJ to decide. What did she want 
AJ to decide. She wanted AJ to decide what to do with Dave. She said, it's up to you. You decide. Who was it up to? Oh, it was up to AJ. Whose decision was it? AJ's. It was AJ's decision. It was up to AJ. So, who would decide? AJ. AJ would decide. Cowrie said, it's up to you, AJ. It's up to you. You decide. And so, AJ threw the evil teacher out the window. Where did AJ throw Dave? Out the window. AJ threw Dave out the window. What did AJ do? Threw Dave out the window. Did he kick Dave out the window? Or did he throw Dave out the window? He threw Dave out the window. Who threw Dave out the window? AJ. AJ threw Dave out the window. Where did he throw Dave? Out the window. AJ threw Dave out the window. And AJ said, no more evil grammar study. You are free. Would the children study grammar again? No, no, they wouldn't. AJ said, no more evil grammar study. Would the students study grammar in the future? No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't study grammar. AJ said, no more evil grammar study. You are free. Were the students free? Yes, they were. The students were free. Were all the students in the class free? Yes, they were all free. Where were the students? In Japan, in Shiura, Japan. The students cheered, yay! Everyone was happy. Did the students cry or did the students cheer? The students cheered, yay! Were the students happy? Yes, they were happy, they cheered. The students cheered. Who cheered? The students cheered. Did AJ cheer? No, 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 no. AJ didn't cheer. The students cheered. Why did the students cheer? Because they were free. No more grammar. The students cheered because they were free. How did the students feel? Well, they were very happy, of course. The students were very happy. And they cheered. Yay! Okay. That is the end. We are finished. Listen to this story many, many times. If the story is easy, listen to it many times. <laughs> if the story is difficult, also, listen to it many times. Learn deeply. Okay, bye-bye.